Good evening out there. <clears throat> God bless you in Jesus' name. Tonight, one more time, we come to his presence uh, to hear from his voice and to do according to his plan and his purpose over our lives. Uh, tonight, I just want to share a word with you that I call perseverance uh, breaks resistance. Perseverance um, breaks resistance. Uh, we are living in a time and we are living in the days that things are really hard. Uh, we are living in a time that um, you're not going to take your vision on a silver platter. There's going to be so many obstacles uh, to deny you from becoming what God wants you to become. There's, there's going to be so many obstacles uh, to stop your vision from coming to pass. But one thing that you must have is perseverance. Uh, you must have uh, a determined spirit uh, not to give up in times of, in, in difficult times. If, if you easily give up, you are not going to become what God intends you to be. And I want us to look into the word of God from the book of Mark. Uh, chapter number 10, verse number 46 down. It talks about a man that Jesus healed. The Bible says Jesus uh, was moving from Jericho to Jerusalem. And, and there was a noise. This blind man was sitting by the wayside begging. And he heard some noise. And he asked, what is going on? What is what is it about all this kind of noise? And and and. And somebody said, Jesus of Nazareth passing by. And the Bible said, the guy cried out to Jesus. He said, Jesus, have mercy on me. <laughs> but the people that are around told the blind man to shut his mouth. They, they said to the blind man, hold your peace. But the Bible said, the blind man cried out the more. And, and as he continued to cry out, the Bible said, Jesus heard him. And Jesus commanded the very people to, to, to bring this guy to him. And when they brought him to Jesus, Jesus said, what do you want from me? And the guy said, I might receive my sight. And the Bible said, Jesus touched him and the guy recovered from his blindness. What I'm trying to tell you tonight, had it not been the guy who persist, persevered, had it not been his spirit of, 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 of perseverance, the very people around him could have easily resisted him from, from recovering from his sight. But the guy did not allow people around him to stop him. The Bible said, even though they, they told him to, 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 to stop shouting or crying out for, for, for Jesus to help him. But the guy did not listen to the people around. And therefore, he continued to cry out more. To Jesus and Jesus heard him. What I want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, whatever that you want to do in life, you're going to face resistance. Whatever that you want to do in life, you are going to face resistance. The fact that you are facing resistance doesn't mean the dream is not possible. The fact that you are going through disappointment, discouragement, setback, does not mean God is not with you. As a matter of fact, the enemy will try to put a resistance in front of you so that you will stop believing in God. The Bible said, when a just man falls seven times, he will rise up again. When a just man falls seven times, that means along the way to fulfill your purpose in life, ladies and gentlemen, you will be disappointed. <laughs> Along the way to become what God wants you to be, you will fall. Along the way to, to receive the, the crown of glory, things will go sideways. But the Bible said the just man will fall seven times. But a just man will not allow situation, circumstance, or resistance to stop him. Regardless of the situation and the circumstance and the resistance, the just man will continue to persevere until he sees the manifestation of his dream. Church, 
A man that invented light bulb, Thomas Edison, he tried 999 times before he succeeded. My goodness. 999 times before he was able to achieve his dream. This guy tried 999 times. How many times have you tried that you are telling me it is impossible? How many times have we tried that we are saying the dream is impossible or I cannot achieve the goal or God is not with me? 999 times. Now we are enjoying light bulb. It was somebody's perseverance that destroyed the resistance for him to achieve his goal. Church, if you're going to achieve your goals in life, you must have a spirit of perseverance. You don't need to give up so easily. Sometimes it's going to be bad. Sometimes it's going to look as if it's impossible. Sometimes the environment, the economy, the people around you, situation, relationship is going to tell you it is impossible. But let me help you to understand. <laughs> With God, all things are possible. The blind man decided that he would not allow people around him to stop him. He knew that Jesus could heal him of his blindness. But there was a resistance. Whenever you see the vision, you're going to see a resistance too. You will never see a vision. You will never see a dream without a resistance. Every dream comes with resistance. Every vision comes with resistance. Every revelation comes with resistance. You cannot take the land with that giants. When God promised them the land, there were giants in the land. You need to overcome the giants to take the land. Some of us think that as long as God has promised us, we don't need to fight any giant. We don't need to face any obstacles. We don't need to face any resistance. We don't need to face any, any, any disappointment. But I want you to understand, when God promised them the land, there were giants in the land. Whatever that God has promised you, you're going to face a resistance. But you don't have to let the resistance stop you. We don't need to let the resistance stop us. We need to believe the word of the Lord. So once upon a time, Isaiah asked the people a question. Whose report did you believe? Do you believe the report of the economy? Or you believe the, 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 the report of God? Do you believe the news or you believe what God is saying? Do you believe your credit score or you believe what God is saying? Your credit score is going to challenge you. <laughs> the reality is the fact that you get a, a bad credit score. And the word of the Lord says, you are well able, you will be a Babylonian. The word of the Lord says, the vision is possible. Yes, still, everything is against the vision. Everything was against Thomas Edison's dream to have a light bulb. He failed so many times, but he did not allow his circumstances to change his vision. He did not allow his circumstance, my God. <laughs> Don't allow your circumstance to change your position. Your circumstance is what you're going through. Your position is how God or whom God has created you to be. We are well able because God has designed us to overcome every situation and condition. Don't allow the resistance, the opposition, the economy, the situation to stop you. Because even as you're going to take the land, you got to cross the Red Sea. You got to cross the rivers. You got to fight the sons of Anax. You got to fight a lot of resistance. But with God, you are well able. Jesus talked about a widow woman and a judge. 
this widow woman went to see a judge and he wanted the judge to avenge him of her, of her case. But the Bible said, the judge would turn this woman away. But the woman kept going to see the judge every day, every morning. He kept troubling the judge until one day the judge said, enough is enough. I am going to judge in favor of this woman because she kept coming and disturbing me. And finally, the Bible said, the judge judged the case of this widow woman. And Jesus, how much more will your father in heaven will not hear you if you continue to persevere, if you continue to persist, if you continue to cry out to him, if you continue to go to him, if you continue to pray to him, if you continue to fast to him. A lot of us are disappointed because we fasted and nothing happened. A lot of us are disappointed because we gave our tithes and we did not get any reward. A lot of us are disappointed because we prayed and nothing happened. A lot of us are disappointed because we did good and we did not get a return. But I want you to understand that as you continue to persevere, as you continue to believe the word of the Lord, as you continue to believe in your dream, as you continue to pray, as you continue to fast, as you continue to learn from the past experience, victory shall be yours. Never stop dreaming. Learn from your past mistakes. Learn from your past mistakes and keep pressing. Keep going forward. For all that God has for you, they are ahead of you, not behind you. One great man said something to me so many years ago. Listen to this. He said, it has never been easy. <laughs> he said, it is not easy. And it's not going to be easy. Check this. <laughs> he said, it has never been easy. If you think it has ever been easy, you're deceiving yourself. Paul, James, all the great men that existed before us, they did not take it easy. It wasn't easy at all. But they persevered. The great man said, it has never been easy. It is not easy. And it's not going to be easy. But it shall take men and women who are determined to lift up the flag of sources. <laughs> Check this. It shall take men and women who are determined to lift the flag of sources. I believe you want to be successful. That is how God has destined you to be. But to be successful in God, you got to have a militant spirit. You got to have a strong spirit. You got to have a spirit that never give up. You got to have a spirit that says, come watch me. I believe the word of the Lord. And I'm not going to throw the towel in. I'm not going to batch until I see the manifestation of the promises of God over my life. I see the giants, but I see the promised land. <laughs> I see the jam, but I see the promised land. I see obstacle, but I see breakthrough. I see resistance, but I see glory. I see disappointment, but I see blessing. You got to see the two. The blessing and the disappointment. The failure and the success. You will fail along the line to become what God wants you to be. It's not going to be easy. The Bible talk about Daniel. The Bible said Daniel seek the presence of God to understood what was going on in his days. The very day that Daniel prayed to God, the Bible said God released an angel to bring to Daniel his request. But the prince of Persia restored the angel of God. I stand here tonight to announce to you that your prayer has been released. Your blessings has been released. Your breakthrough has been released. The vision has been released. But there is a resistance. But Daniel continued to pray. 
<laughs> Daniel continued to seek the face of God. And the Bible said, as he continued to pray, there was reinforcement. And lo and behold, Daniel received the promises of God. Daniel received his prayer request. I want you to understand that the vision is possible. I want you to know that the dream is possible. I want you to know that God will bring his word to pass. I want you to know that the business is possible. I want you to know that the ministry is possible. Whatever that God has revealed to you is possible. Whatever vision that you have, that you want to achieve, is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to check this. The bigger the dream, the bigger the trouble. If the dream is huge, it calls for a lot of resistance. The reason why you're facing too much resistance is because of your destiny. Your destiny is so big that calls for a lot of attack and resistance on you. But never throw the towel in. Keep pressing, keep moving, keep praying, keep trying. When you fall, pick yourself up. When you fall, pick yourself up. Remember one thing. That when Moses got to Egypt, God said to Moses, go to Egypt, deliver my people from the hands of the Egyptians. The Bible said Moses got to Egypt. I thought that when Moses got Moses, when Moses go to Egypt, it was going to be easy. But check this. Moses went to Egypt, stood before Pharaoh, and he said, hey, I've come to deliver the people of God. And listen to this. Pharaoh said, I don't know the God, and I won't let you go. <laughs> Moses will go see Pharaoh, and Pharaoh will deny him. Moses will go see Pharaoh. Moses went before Pharaoh more than 10 times. Check this. <laughs> Moses stood bef before Pharaoh more than 10 times. All this while, Pharaoh would deny the, 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 the Jewish people from leaving Egypt. God has spoken his word. And if God has spoken his word, where are all this kind of resistance? Such as life. Some of us will see it as a sign that God is not with me. And I'm going to stop going to see Pharaoh. I'm tired of going to see Pharaoh. I'm, I'm tired of talking about this deliverance. I'm tired of this fasting. I'm tired of this vision. I'm tired of this business. I've been trying so many times. It's not working for me. Moses stood before Pharaoh more than 10 times. And in all this time, Pharaoh said, I will not let them go. But because of his perseverance, because of his tenacity, because Moses made up his mind, that no is not going to stop him. Don't let no stop you. <laughs> Don't let no stop you. If you know <laughs> that vision comes from God, if you know that that revelation comes from God, never allow the word no to stop you. Because I want you to understand, as you want to be successful here on earth, there is a word that you got to be familiar with. No. They will say no to you. They will tell you you cannot do it. They will tell you it is impossible. You got to be familiar with impossible. You got to be familiar with you don't have the tools. You got to be familiar with the word no. But you got to look past the word no. You got to believe in your dream. You got to believe in your vision. You got to believe the word of the Lord. And you got to say, as long as God exists, as long as God is with me, it is possible. Hold on to the dream and don't let the dream die. If you are not careful, the enemy will kill the dream before time. Because there is time for everything. Between the manifestation and the promise, 
You got to go through resistance. You got to go through persecution. You got to go through impact. You got to go through a lot. Between the time that God promised you, between the time you lay hold of the vision, between the time that you started the, the, the business and the time that the business will prosper, you are going to go through a lot. But you don't have to let that stop you. Let's talk about Isaac. The Bible says, after the death of I, Abraham, Abraham left Isaac a well, and the Philistines stop it. <laughs> My God, <laughs> there are well stoppers, there are dream killers, there are people that will try to kill the dream, there are people that will try to kill the ministry, there are people that will try to kill the marriage, there are people that will try to kill the vision. There are always dream killers around the vision. There are always people or satanic spirit that will try to stop you from becoming what God wants you to become. The Bible said, after the death of Abraham, Isaac succeeded his father with a well, but the Philistines destroyed it. The Bible said Isaac dug another well. And they took that well from him. My God. <laughs> Some of us will say, if God is with me, why are they taking everything away from me? They are taking my house from me. They are taking my marriage from me. They're taking your ministry from you. They're taking your finance from you. They're taking your business from you. Everything that Isaac had was taken away from him. But that never stopped Isaac. The Bible says Isaac moved forward and that another well. And the Philistines took that from him also. Wow. Somebody will say, if God is with us, why are we going through all this kind of trouble? The Bible said that never stopped Isaac. Because Isaac had a militant spirit. The guy had the spirit of perseverance. He decided not to allow the resistance to stop him. The Bible said he moved forward and that another well. And they took that one from him. Wow. But that never stopped Isaac. <laughs> the Bible said he moved forward and dug another well. That they did not cry with him. And Isaac said, now the Lord has made room for us. And we shall be successful. We shall be fruitful. We shall be productive. I want to declare over your life. As you continue to press on. As you continue to pray. As you continue to persist, the dream shall surely come to pass. In a time that everybody is saying it is impossible, that is when God is going to show himself up and prove to you that he is the God of possibilities. And there is nothing that he cannot do. God is with you. It doesn't matter their cause. Check all the great men that made life. Talk, talk to billionaires. Talk to millionaires. Talk to successful businesses. They will tell you it took the spirit of perseverance for them to get where they are now. They failed so many times. To one point they thought it wasn't coming to pass. But they, they never allowed their circumstance, their situation to destroy their position. They never allowed no to kill the dream in them. They never allow disappointment to kill the dream in them. They never allow failure to kill the dream in them. Don't allow the hatred of men to stop you. Because there are haters, haters all over the place. People who will not like you. People who will not approve you. People who will not confirm you. People who will not accept you. People who will tell you it can never be done. Don't allow those people. Don't allow the bankers to stop you. I know you went to bank looking for a loan to start that business. And they said no to you. Ask a lot of billionaires, a lot of companies and industries that are successful today. Their first day, their first step, or the first time they went to bank for a loan, they were denied. They were turned away. But they never allowed that situation to stop them. They believed in their dream. 
They kept pressing. They kept moving. They kept praying. They kept doing it. And finally, boom. Your life is like a timing bomb set by God. You are born to be successful. But I want you to understand, if you want to be successful, it's not going to come on silver platter. If you want to be successful, you got to fight your way through. If you want to be successful, you got to believe in your dream. If you want to be successful, you got to believe in the vision. If you want to be successful, you got to believe in that business. If you want to be successful, you got to believe in that marriage. If you want to be successful, whatever that you have started, you got to have faith and believe in it, knowing that it is possible. Regardless of the situation, regardless of the circumstance, regardless of what people are saying, know that it is possible. Hold on to the dream. Don't throw the towel in. Keep on pressing. Sometimes you will feel like it is impossible. That is the human nature. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sometimes you might feel like it is impossible, but never allow <coughs> your situation to stop you from pressing forward. Church, I came back to encourage you tonight, wherever that you are. I know a lot of people are calling me. I'm talking to a lot of people. We are living in a time that people, Christians, are suffering a lot. The reason for all this kind of pain is a sign that the revival is right here with us. The reason for all this kind of setback, the disappointment, the failure, and all the agony is a sign that God is up to something great in our life. And I just want to encourage you. You are pregnant and you are nine months pregnant. I know you cannot walk. <laughs> I know you cannot sleep well. But I prophesy over your life that you are nine months pregnant. The pain that you are going through is a sign that the baby is coming out of you. And I want to encourage you to press your way through. I want to encourage you to press your way through. I'm not encouraging you to move forward. I'm encouraging you to press your way. Press your way. You might not feel like going to do it. You might not feel like doing it again. But press your way through. Paul said, brethren, I cannot myself to apprehend. But one thing that I do, I forget about the past. And I press forward. I want to encourage you tonight. Keep pressing forward. Keep moving forward. Keep believing the dream. Dr. King believed in a dream. He believed in the, in the liberation and equality of a black man and a white man. He believed in it. He pressed on. He persisted. And here we are. If your children and your grandchildren and your children's children are going to be successful, it depends on you. If you're going to give up, the struggle will continue. You will pass a pain to your children and your children's children. But we are not supposed to pass trouble to our children. children. We are born to reduce the pain of the next generation. And to reduce the pain, you got to have a perseverance spirit. I come to you tonight. Church, we are almost there. Keep on fighting. Keep your gloves on. Don't take the gloves out. Keep the gloves on. And let's keep moving. For the vision is set for an appointed time. Even though it tarry. Wait for it, for at the right time, it will speak and not lie. Again, my name, I'm Pastor Kwame. Stay blessed, stay encouraged. God is on your side. For perseverance will break every resistance ahead of you. I love you all. I'm Pastor Kwame. Shalom.